Let's see on the breakfast and plus CV Africa. We look at telecommunication operators and your plan to increase the tariff by 40%. Uh, we do have an expert who joins the conversation, Okonu Abdullahi. It's good to have you join us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Good morning to you. Okay, so, so let's get straight to this conversation now. The reason for this action by telecommunication companies, although some persons are saying it has already been implemented, is that uh, they are putting the blame on high cost of diesel and other energy sources and recent introduction of excess duty of 5% uh, on telecom services. And this has actually uh, been responsible for the increase by 40%. What do you make of all of this? Okay, Th thank you so much. I, if you are to go by what we have been experiencing over time in this country, pertaining to I, the incessant increments in the cost of living, I may want to say that uh, for the operators to come with this uh, idea of uh, increments in uh, increasing the the tariff across board on the on their services. We we'll say it is not uh, one that is surprising. Uh, it, it is not surprising. Taking a cue from, uh, for example, the electricity tariff that was jacked up, uh, if not for the resistance on the part of the organized labor, uh, by now the petroleum pump price would also would have been uh, jacked up. So for this also, like I said earlier, it is not surprising that they are coming with this. And uh, I wouldn't want to believe that they have started the implementation. Why did I say that? Is that for them to, to start, they must get an express approval from the NCC, which I don't think uh, that has been given, going by the information at our disposal and the various uh, tablets that carried it from the let us know that uh, they just wrote to to NCC for approval, and uh, it means uh, it has not yet uh, been implemented. And if it is, if it has started, if they have started the implementation, that will be very very unfortunate, and uh, it's something that is not uh, uh, supposed to be condoned. Having said this, on the increment, I want to say that it is one that is uh, going to be impacting so badly on the on the consumers like i said earlier everything now is going high nothing is coming down in terms of prices in nigeria even is as bad as even uh, all the political parties the politicians those in government are supposed to ensure that there is stability in the in the cost of living for nigerians their own nomination forms too are also going high they are also raising the, the, the fees for their various uh, nomination fees, I mean, for their nomination forms. So this to tell us that uh, these people do not have the best interest of, our, of Nigerians, of the masses at heart. All right, and, uh, Abdullahi. It is, it is. Abdullahi, uh, so f f fine, let's leave the issue of um, nomination forms um, increasing by, to 40 million and 100 million. But let's talk about um, the impact of all of this. Now, from what we hear, uh, SMS, uh, which actually goes for about 4 naira, will now have to increase to about 5 naira, 61 kobo. And, uh, you know, the per second billing that we have been paying, or price of course will now increase from uh, 6 naira, uh, 40 kobo to 8 naira, 95 kobo. My question now would be, how can this be averted? Uh, don't you think, uh, or do you think that the issue of uh, maybe subsidized uh, uh, energy costs for operators might be a way out? Yes, you are very, very correct. That can also be a way out, but uh, I don't really see if that will see the light of the Why did I say that is that uh, you remember, you recall that uh, the government has persistently told us that uh, the high cost of subsidy on the, the petroleum and the even electricity power supply has been one that cannot be sustained. So if you are coming with this idea also that they should subsidize for the operators, uh, it will, I don't think uh, it will be a welcome uh, development for them. I think uh, the most important thing is for us, rather for us to be 
tackling the symptoms, we should rather tackle the ailment itself, the sickness, the disease itself is what we should tackle. By that, I'm referring to getting our, uh, what do you call it, refineries working. You know, if the refineries are working, we will not have any uh, reason for us to be selling, I mean, to be selling at a international uh, price. Then apart from that also, the cost of people bringing all these uh, commodities back into the country will also be eliminated. So the focus, like I said, should be on uh, refining locally. Once you're able to refine locally, we'll not have uh, all these uh, incessant, uh, what do you call it, increments in the home price. So I think uh, that, that would be the way to go. And uh, for the operators, to a very large extent, we want to agree or reason with them with the reasons they gave. Because we are also, if we are in the sector and we know what is obtainable truly, uh, actually all their base stations are run on the uh, generating sets. And the cost of uh, diesel, bear with me, has been going high for in the last uh, couple of, uh, what do you call it, weeks, going to months now. So then apart from that also, the issues of uh, uh, towels at a various location, before you, before the, what do you call it, because before they offload uh, diesel to all these base stations, you see a lot of towels coming around and they seeking, I mean, collecting money before you can offload and uh, you power the generating sets on, the, on those, very, uh, those sites. So that also is also impacting on the cost of doing business. And they talk of other, what do you call it, the logistics as well. So they, notwithstanding that, I think, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the best would be for us to be, uh, what do you call it, the refining locally. Then apart from that also, the government should also look at that area of uh, towels everywhere you go to, on the, trying to power the generating sets, you see a lot of them. And they, they, now it is very funny to let you know that now they have also increased what they collect yeah, from, from the operators uh, before they can uh, power their base stations. Uh, so it is, it, is a, it is a bad situation we, we, we have on our hands. It is a terrible situation that we have on our hands. And uh, the, the most uh, appalling or the, the most, uh, what do you call it now, uh, uh, the, the worst eat will be the masses. People that even presently you see majority of Nigerians cannot afford to make calls. Not to talk of uh, going on the internet using the data. You understand? Now we are increasing the, the cost of, uh, what do you call it? Of these services to them, it will be the uh, the pain will be so excruciating on them. It is one that uh, uh, I want to believe that the, with the intervention of uh, every stakeholder, including the government, uh, the operators should have a, a return on this. It is not the, the way to go for our people. Mm. Okay, so um, but just looking at it again, looking at uh, the, the the fact that the government has a responsibility in a providing an enabling environment, categorically, can you state what can be done uh, in the short term? Because of course you probably might just have a long term, but what can be done in the interim to avert the situation? Okay, like the point I raised earlier, in terms of. Uh, hearing, Towels, I call them uh, towels, all these area boys are uh, here and there. If the government can ensure that there is a safe delivery of uh, diesels to all base stations, it will reduce cost of uh, doing business for all these operators. If that is done to a very large extent, a certain fraction of uh, the cost of doing business will be, will be reduced. So if they look at that, because I tell you, it is not, it's running into several hundred million millions uh, of naira, if not going into billions, uh, I, must, I must let you know. So this is a lot of money that people that do not work for for the company and they, they are just making a good money without anybody checking them. So this will come in form of uh, uh, can to a very large extent see it from the angle of uh, insecurity because if you fail to settle these boys, once you leave, they may want prevent you from uh, offloading your, what do you call it, uh, the diesel. And apart from that, if they even allow you to do so, 
Uh, before you, you know, before you can combat, they can also do what uh, demolish or destroy, tamper with your base, base stations. And uh, so, if government can look into this, it will reduce the cost of uh, doing business for the operators, like I said earlier. All right. And a very good way, a very good point was also raised earlier by Austin. Uh, though I was pessimistic about uh, the point you raised, which is uh, giving subsidy to to these uh, operators. It is, it, is, it is doable if the government sees it as uh, one that they are not necessarily doing the favors to the operators, but rather they are doing it for, for the engineers. It is also a way to go. All right, it thank you. Uh, to them, yes. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we have been speaking with um, Okono Abdullah. He is the General Secretary of the Private uh, Telecoms and Communication Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Texan. Thanks for sharing your thoughts with us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right, that's indeed the size of the show. So if uh, nothing is done in the interim, Nigerians may have to be paying a lot more to already text at them to make calls. <laughs> Some service providers have already gone ahead to implement all of that. Probably might just be a difficult time to be a Nigerian. Fingers are crossed. Let's see how relevant stakeholders step into the situation. But like Justin mentioned earlier on, uh, that's the size of the show. We will return tomorrow. It would be an exciting time. If you missed out on any part of the conversation, it would be all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And do subscribe to YouTube channel. We're at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Popo. Have a fantastic day. And I'm Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for being a part of the show. Stand by for the news which comes up top of the hour.